Hanoi, UK, US, Vietnamese, Hanoi, H A Grave Nodge, Listen, is Vietnam's capital and second largest city by population, 7.7 million in 2015. The city mostly lies on the right bank of the Red River. Hanoi is 1720 kilometers, 1070 miles north of Ho Chi Minh City and 105 kilometers, 65 miles west of Haiphong. From 1010 until 1802, it was the most important political center of Vietnam. It was eclipsed by Hue, the imperial capital of Vietnam during the Nguyen dynasty 1802 to 1945. In 1873 Hanoi was conquered by the French. From 1883 to 1945, the city was the administrative center of the colony of French Indochina. The French built a modern administrative city south of Old Hanoi, creating broad, perpendicular tree-lined avenues of opera, churches, public buildings, and luxury villas, but they also destroyed large parts of the city, shedding or reducing the size of lakes and canals, while also clearing out various imperial palaces and citadels. From 1940 to 1945 Hanoi, as well as most of French Indochina and Southeast Asia, was occupied by the Japanese Empire. On September 2, 1945, Ho Chi Minh proclaimed the Democratic Republic of Vietnam, North Vietnam. The Vietnamese National Assembly under Ho Chi Minh decided on January 6, 1946, to make Hanoi the capital of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. From 1954 to 1976, it was the capital of North Vietnam, and it became the capital of a reunified Vietnam in 1976, after the North's victory in the Vietnam War. October 2010 officially marked 1,000 years since the establishment of the city. The Hanoi ceramic mosaic mural is a 6.5 kilometers (4.0 miles) ceramic mosaic mural created to mark the occasion. Topic Names Hanoi had many official and unofficial names throughout history. During the Chinese occupation of Vietnam, it was known first as Long Bien, Long Bin Dragon Edge, then Tong Bin, Song Bin Song Peace, and Long Du, Long du Dragon Belly. Long Bien later gave its name to the famed Long Bien Bridge, built during French colonial times, and more recently to a new district to the east of the Red River. Several older names of Hanoi feature Long, Long Dragon, linked to the curvy formation of the Red River around the city, which was symbolized as a dragon. In 866, it was turned into a citadel and named Dila, Dala Big Net. This gave it the nickname Lathan, Luoja Net Citadel. Both Dila and Lathan are names of major streets in modern Hanoi. When Lai Tai Tu established the capital in the area in 1010, it was named Thang Long, Sheng Long Rising Dragon. Thang Long later became the name of a major bridge on the highway linking the city center to Noi Bai Airport, and the Thang Long Boulevard Expressway in the southwest of the city center. In modern time, the city is usually referred to as Thang Long, Hanoi, when its long history is discussed. During the Ho dynasty, it was called Dong Du, Dong du Eastern Metropolis. During the Ming Chinese occupation, it was called Dong Quan, Dong Quan Eastern Gate. During the Le dynasty, Hanoi was known as Dong Kin, Dong Jin Eastern Capital. This gave the name to Tonkin and Gulf of Tonkin. A square adjacent to the Hoan Kim Lake was named Dong Kin Gia Thuc after the reformist Tonkin Free School under French colonization. After the end of the Tay Sun had expanded further south, the city was named Bak Than, Beijing Northern Citadel. Min Mang renamed the city Ha Noi, Hin inside the river. In 1831, this has remained its official name until modern times. Several unofficial names of Hanoi include Ke Cho, marketplace, Trang An, long piece, Ha Than, short for Than Pho Hanoi, city of Hanoi, and Tu Du, capital. Topic: 
Topic History. Topic Pre Thang Long period. Hanoi has been inhabited since at least 3000 BC. The Ko Loa Citadel in Dong Anh district served as the capital of the Olak Kingdom founded by the Thuk emigrant Thuk Phan after his 258 BC conquest of the native Van Lang. In 197 BC, Olak Kingdom was annexed by Nanyui, which ushered in more than a millennium of Chinese domination. By the middle of the 5th century, in the center of ancient Hanoi, the Lu Song dynasty set up a new district Xi'an called Songping, Tong Bin, which later became a commandery, Jun including two districts Yawai Yihuai and Suining, Suining in the south of the Red River now two Liam and Hoai Duke districts with the metropolis the domination center in the present inner Hanoi. By the year 679, the Tang dynasty changed the region's name into Anan, pacified south, with Songping as its capital, in order to defeat the people's uprisings. In the later half of the 8th century, Zhang Boyi, Zhang Boyi, a Tang dynasty viceroy, built Luocheng, Luocheng Le Than or Le Citadel, from Tula to Quan Ngua in present-day Ba Din precinct. In the earlier half of the 9th century, it was further built up and called Jincheng, Jincheng Kim Than or Kim Citadel. In 866, Gao Pian, the Chinese Jiadushi, consolidated and named it Daluocheng, Da Luocheng Dai La Citadel, running from Quan Ngua to Bark Thao, the largest citadel of ancient Hanoi at the time. Thang Long, Dong Du, Dong Quan, Dong Kin In 1010, Lai Tai Tu, the first ruler of the Lai dynasty, moved the capital of Dai Viet to the site of the Dai La Citadel. Claiming to have seen a dragon ascending the Red River, he renamed the site Thang Long, Sheng Long Soaring Dragon, a name still used poetically to this day. Thang Long remained the capital of Dai Viet until 1397, when it was moved to Than Hoa, then known as Tai Du, Shidao the Western Capital. Thang Long then became Dong Du, Dong Dao the Eastern Capital. In 1408, the Chinese Ming Dynasty attacked and occupied Vietnam, changing Dong Du's name to Dong Guan, Chinese, Dong Guan Eastern Gateway, or Dong Quan in Sino Vietnamese. In 1428, the Vietnamese overthrew the Chinese under the leadership of Le Loi, who later founded the Le dynasty and renamed Dong Quan Dong Kin, Dong Jin Eastern Capital, or Tonkin. Right after the end of the Tay Sun dynasty, it was named Bac Than, Beijing Northern Citadel. Topic: <laughs> During Nguyen Dynasty and the French colonial period. In 1802, when the Nguyen dynasty was established and moved the capital to Hue, the old name Thang Long was modified to become Thang Long, Sheng Long Soaring Dragon. In 1831, the Nguyen Emperor Min Mang renamed it Ha Noi, Hin Between Rivers, or River Interior. Hanoi was occupied by the French in 1873 and passed to them ten years later. As Hanoi, it was located in the protectorate of Tonkin became the capital of French Indochina after 1887. <inaudible> <inaudible> During two wars The city was occupied by the Imperial Japanese in 1940 and liberated in 1945, when it briefly became the seat of the Viet Minh government after Ho Chi Minh proclaimed the independence of Vietnam. However, the French returned and reoccupied the city in 1946. After nine years of fighting between the French and Viet Minh forces, Hanoi became the capital of an independent North Vietnam in 1954. During the Vietnam War, Hanoi's transportation facilities were disrupted by the bombing of bridges and railways. These were all, however, promptly repaired. 
Following the end of the war, Hanoi became the capital of a reunified Vietnam when North and South Vietnam were reunited on 2 July 1976. Modern Hanoi After the Doi Moi economic policies were approved in 1986, the Communist Party and national and municipal governments hoped to attract international investments for urban development projects in Hanoi. The high-rise commercial buildings did not begin to appear until ten years later due to the international investment community being skeptical of the security of their investments in Vietnam. Rapid urban development and rising costs displaced many residential areas in central Hanoi. Following a short period of economic stagnation after the 1997 Asian financial crisis, Hanoi resumed its rapid economic growth. On the 29th of May 2008, it was decided that Ha Tay Province, Vinh Phuc Province's Mi Lin District, and four communes of Luong Son District, Hoa Binh Province, be merged into the metropolitan area of Hanoi from the 1st of August 2008. Hanoi's total area then increased to 334,470 hectares in 29 subdivisions with the new population being 6,232,940, effectively tripling its size. The Hanoi Capital Region Vung Tu Du Hanoi, a metropolitan area covering Hanoi and six surrounding provinces under its administration, will have an area of 13,436 square kilometers (5,188 square miles) with 15 million people by 2020. Hanoi has experienced a rapid construction boom recently. Skyscrapers, popping up in new urban areas, have dramatically changed the cityscape and have formed a modern skyline outside the old city. In 2015, Hanoi is ranked number 39 by Emporis in the list of world cities with most skyscrapers over 100 meters. Its two tallest buildings are Hanoi Landmark 72 Tower, 336 meters, tallest in Vietnam and second tallest in Southeast Asia after Malaysia's Petronas Twin Towers and Hanoi Lotte Center, 272 meters, also second tallest in Vietnam. Public outcry in opposition to the redevelopment of culturally significant areas in Hanoi persuaded the national government to implement a low-rise policy surrounding Hoan Kiem Lake. The Ba Din district is also protected from commercial redevelopment. Geography <laughs> 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 Topic. Location, topography Hanoi is located in northern region of Vietnam, situated in the Vietnam's Red River Delta, nearly 90 kilometres away from the coastal area. Hanoi contains three basic kinds of terrain, which are the delta area, the midland area and mountainous zone. In general, the terrain is gradually lower from the north to the south and from the west to the east, with the average height ranging from 5 to 20 meters above the sea level. The hills and mountainous zones are located in the northern and western part of the city. The highest peak is at Bar Vi with 1,281 meters, located west of the city proper. Climate Hanoi features a warm humid subtropical climate with plentiful precipitation. The city experiences the typical climate of northern Vietnam, with four distinct seasons. Summer, from May until August, is characterized by hot and humid weather with abundant rainfall. September and October comprise the fall season, characterized by a decrease in temperature and precipitation. Winter, from November to January, is dry and cool by national standards. The city is usually cloudy and foggy in winter, averaging only 1.5 hours of sunshine per day in February and March. 
Hanoi averages 1,680 mm of rainfall per year, the majority falling from May to September. There are an average of 114 days with rain. The average annual temperature is 23.6 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit, with a mean relative humidity of 79%. The highest recorded temperature was 42.8 degrees Celsius, 109 degrees Fahrenheit in May 1926, while the lowest recorded temperature was 2.7 degrees Celsius, 37 degrees Fahrenheit in January 1955. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Administrative divisions. Hanoi is divided into 12 urban districts, one district-level town and 17 rural districts. When Ha Tae was merged into Hanoi in 2008, Ha Dong was transformed into an urban district while Sun Tae degraded to a district-level town. They are further subdivided into 22 commune level towns, or townlets, 399 communes, and 145 wards. Topic: List of local government divisions. HT, formerly an administrative subdivision unit of the defunct Ha Tay Province. Topic: Demographics. Hanoi's population is constantly growing about 3.5% per year, a reflection of the fact that the city is both a major metropolitan area of northern Vietnam, and also the country's political center. This population growth also puts a lot of pressure on the infrastructure, some of which is antiquated and dates back to the early 20th century. The number of Hanoians who have settled down for more than three generations is likely to be very small when compared to the overall population of the city. Even in the old quarter, where commerce started hundreds of years ago and consisted mostly of family businesses, many of the street front stores nowadays are owned by merchants and retailers from other provinces. The original owner family may have either rented out the store and moved into the adjoining house or moved out of the neighborhood altogether. The pace of change has especially escalated after the abandonment of central planning economic policies and relaxing of the district based household registrar system. Hanoi's telephone numbers have been increased to eight digits to cope with demand. October 2008. Subscribers' telephone numbers have been changed in a haphazard way, however, mobile phones and SIM cards are readily available in Vietnam, with prepaid mobile phone credit available in all areas of Hanoi. Economy <inaudible> 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 Hanoi has the highest human development index among the cities in Vietnam. According to a recent ranking by PricewaterhouseCoopers, Hanoi will be the fastest growing city in the world in terms of GDP growth from 2008 to 2025. In the year 2013, Hanoi contributed 12.6% to GDP, exported 7.5% of total exports, contributed 17% to the national budget and attracted 22% investment capital of Vietnam. The city's nominal GDP at current prices reached 451,213 billion Vietnamese dongs, 21.48 billion United States dollars in 2013, which made per capita GDP stand at 63.3 million Vietnamese dongs, 3,000 United States dollars. Industrial production in the city has experienced a rapid boom since the 1990s, with average annual growth of 19.1% from 1991 to 95, 15.9% from 1996 to 2000, and 20.9% during 2001 to 2003. In addition to eight existing industrial parks, Hanoi is building five new large-scale industrial parks and 16 small and medium-sized industrial clusters. 
The non-state economic sector is expanding fast, with more than 48,000 businesses currently operating under the Enterprise Law as of 3 Trade is another strong sector of the city. In 2003, Hanoi had 2,000 businesses engaged in foreign trade, having established ties with 161 countries and territories. The city's export value grew by an average 11.6% each year from 1996 to 2009.1% during 2001 to 2003. The economic structure also underwent important shifts, with tourism, finance, and banking now playing an increasingly important role. Hanoi's traditional business districts are Hoan Kiem, Hai Ba Trung and Dong Da, and newly developing Kai Jie and Nam Tu Liem in the west. Similar to Ho Chi Minh City, Hanoi enjoys a rapidly developing real estate market. The current most notable new urban areas are Central Trung Hoa Nan Chin, Mai Din, the luxurious zones of the Manor, Siputra, Royal City in the Nguyen Tri Street Than Xuan District, and Times City in the Hai Ba Trung District. Agriculture, previously a pillar in Hanoi's economy, has striven to reform itself, introducing new high-yield plant varieties and livestock, and applying modern farming techniques. After the economic reforms that initiated economic growth, Hanoi's appearance has also changed significantly, especially in recent years. Infrastructure is constantly being upgraded, with new roads and an improved public transportation system. Hanoi has allowed many fast food chains into the city, such as Jollibee, Lateria, Pizza Hut, KFC, and others. Locals in Hanoi perceive the ability to purchase fast food as an indication of luxury and permanent fixtures. Over three quarters of the jobs in Hanoi are state owned, 9% of jobs are provided by collectively owned organizations, 13.3% of jobs are in the private sector. The structure of employment has been changing rapidly as state-owned institutions downsize and private enterprises grow. Hanoi has in-migration controls which allow the city to accept only people who add skills Hanoi's economy. A 2006 census found that 5,600 rural produce vendors exist in Hanoi, with 90% of them coming from surrounding rural areas. These numbers indicate the much greater earning potential in urban rather than in rural spaces. The uneducated, rural, and mostly female street vendors are depicted as participants of microbusiness and local grassroots economic development by business reports. In July 2008, Hanoi's city government devised a policy to partially ban street vendors and sidewalk-based commerce on 62 streets due to concerns about public health and «modernizing» the city's image to attract foreigners. Many foreigners believe that the vendors add a traditional and nostalgic aura to the city, although street vending was much less common prior to the 1986 Doi Moi policies. The vendors have not able to form effective resistance tactics to the ban and remain embedded in the dominant capitalist framework of modern Hanoi. Topic: Development. Topic: Infrastructural development. A development master plan for Hanoi was designed by Ernest Hebrid in 1924, but was only partially implemented. The close relationship between the Soviet Union and Vietnam led to the creation of the first comprehensive plan for Hanoi with the assistance of Soviet planners between 1981 and 1984. It was never realized because it appeared to be incompatible with Hanoi's existing layout. In recent years, two master plans have been created to guide Hanoi's development. The first was the Hanoi Master Plan 1990 to 2010, approved in April 1992. It was created out of collaboration between planners from Hanoi and the National Institute of Urban and Rural Planning in the Ministry of Construction. 
The plan's three main objectives were to create housing and a new commercial center in an area known as Gia Du, expand residential and industrial areas in the Jia Lam district, and develop the three southern corridors linking Hanoi to Ha Dong and the Than Tri district. The end result of the land use pattern was meant to resemble a five-cornered star by 2010. In 1998, a revised version of the Hanoi Master Plan was approved to be completed in 2020. It addressed the significant increase of population projections within Hanoi. Population densities and high-rise buildings in the inner city were planned to be limited to protect the old parts of inner Hanoi. A rail transport system is planned to be built to expand public transport and link the Hanoi to surrounding areas. Projects such as airport upgrading, a golf course, and cultural villages have been approved for development by the government. Hanoi is still faced with the problems associated with increasing urbanization. The disparity of wealth between the rich and the poor is a problem in both the capital and throughout the country. Hanoi's public infrastructure is in poor condition. The city has frequent power cuts, air and water pollution, poor road conditions, traffic congestion, and a rudimentary public transit system. Traffic congestion and air pollution are worsening as the number of motorcycles increases. Squatter settlements are expanding on the outer rim of the city as homelessness rises. In the late 1980s, the United Nations Development Program (UNDP) and the Vietnamese government designed a project to develop rural infrastructure. The project focused on improving roads, water supply and sanitation, and educational, health and social facilities because economic development in the communes and rural areas surrounding Hanoi is dependent on the infrastructural links between the rural and urban areas, especially for the sale of rural products. The project aimed to use locally available resources and knowledge such as compressed earth construction techniques for building. It was jointly funded by the UNDP, the Vietnamese government, and resources raised by the local communities and governments. In four communes, the local communities contributed 37% of the total budget. Local labor, community support, and joint funding were decided as necessary for the long-term sustainability of the project. Civil society development Part of the goals of the Doi Moi economic reforms was to decentralize governance for purpose of economic improvement. This led to the establishment of the first issue-oriented civic organizations in Hanoi. In the 1990s, Hanoi experienced significant poverty alleviation as a result of both the market reforms and civil society movements. Most of the civic organizations in Hanoi were established after 1995, at a rate much slower than in Ho Chi Minh City. Organizations in Hanoi are more «tradition bound», focused on policy, education, research, professional interests, and appealing to governmental organizations to solve social problems. This marked difference from Ho Chi Minh's civic organizations, which practice more direct intervention to tackle social issues, may be attributed to the different societal identities of North and South Vietnam. Hanoi-based civic organizations use more systematic development and less of a direct intervention approach to deal with issues of rural development, poverty alleviation, and environmental protection. They rely more heavily on full-time staff than volunteers. In Hanoi, 16.7% of civic organizations accept anyone as a registered member and 73.9% claim to have their own budgets, as opposed to 90.9% in Ho Chi Minh City. A majority of the civic organizations in Hanoi find it difficult to work with governmental organizations. Many of the strained relations between non-governmental and governmental organizations results from statism, a bias against non-state organizations on the part of government entities. <laughs> <laughs> Landmarks 
As the capital of Vietnam for almost a thousand years, Hanoi is considered one of the main cultural centers of Vietnam, where most Vietnamese dynasties have left their imprint. Even though some relics have not survived through wars and time, the city still has many interesting cultural and historic monuments for visitors and residents alike. Even when the nation's capital moved to Hue under the Nguyen dynasty in 1802, the city of Hanoi continued to flourish, especially after the French took control in 1888 and modeled the city's architecture to their tastes, lending an important aesthetic to the city's rich stylistic heritage. The city hosts more cultural sites than any other city in Vietnam, and boasts more than 1,000 years of history, that of the past few hundred years has been well preserved. Old Quarter The Old Quarter, near Hoan Kiem Lake, maintains most of the original street layout and some of the architecture of Old Hanoi. At the beginning of the 20th century Hanoi consisted of the 36 streets, the citadel, and some of the newer French buildings south of Hoan Kiem Lake, most of which are now part of Hoan Kiem District. Each street had merchants and households specializing in a particular trade, such as silk, jewelry or even bamboo. The street names still reflect these specializations, although few of them remain exclusively in their original commerce. The area is famous for its specializations in trades such as traditional medicine and local handicrafts, including silk shops, bamboo carpenters, and tin smiths. Local cuisine specialties as well as several clubs and bars can be found here also. A night market near Dongshuan Market in the heart of the district opens for business every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening with a variety of clothing, souvenirs and food. Some other prominent places include the Temple of Literature Van Mu, site of the oldest university in Vietnam which was started in 1010, the One Pillar Pagoda Chua Mo Cot which was built based on the dream of King Lai Tai Tong 1028 in 1049, and the Flag Tower of Hanoi, Cot Co Hanoi. In 2004, a massive part of the 900-year-old Hanoi Citadel was discovered in central Hanoi, near the site of Ba Din Square. <laughs> <laughs> Lakes A city between rivers built on lowlands, Hanoi has many scenic lakes and is sometimes called the City of Lakes. Among its lakes, the most famous are Hoan Kiem Lake, West Lake, Ho Tê, and Bay Mao Lake inside Thong Nhat Park. Hoan Kiem Lake, also known as Sword Lake, is the historical and cultural center of Hanoi, and is linked to the legend of the magic sword. West Lake Ho Tê is a popular place for people to spend time. It is the largest lake in Hanoi, with many temples in the area. The lakeside road in the Gi Tam, Quang Ba area is perfect for bicycling, jogging and viewing the cityscape or enjoying the lotus ponds in the summer. The best way to see the majestic beauty of a West Lake sunset is to view it from one of the many bars around the lake, especially from the summit at Pan Pacific Hanoi formerly known as Summit Lounge at Sofitel Plaza Hanoi. Colonial Hanoi Under French rule, as an administrative centre for the French colony of Indochina, the French colonial architecture style became dominant, and many examples remain today, the tree-lined boulevards e.g. Phan Dinh Phung Street and its many villas, mansions, and government buildings. Many of the colonial structures are an eclectic mixture of French and traditional Vietnamese architectural styles, such as the National Museum of Vietnamese History, the Vietnam National Museum of Fine Arts and the old Indochina Medical College. Governor General Paul Duma played a crucial role in colonial Hanoi's urban planning. Under his tenure there was a major construction boom. Notable French colonial landmarks in Hanoi include Presidential Palace Grand Opera House Street 
Joseph's Cathedral Long Bien Bridge Grand Palais French School of the Far East Hotel Metropole Tonkin Palace State Guest House Hoa Prison Kua Bak Church Ministry of Foreign Affairs Building Supreme Court Building Indochina Medical College Museum of Revolution Central Station Topic: Museums Hanoi is home to a number of museums National Museum of Vietnamese History Vietnam National Museum of Fine Arts Vietnam Museum of Ethnology Vietnam Museum of Revolution Ho Lo Prison Ho Chi Minh Museum Hanoi Contemporary Arts Center Vietnam Military History Museum Hanoi Museum Topic Tourism Hanoi is sometimes dubbed the Paris of the East for its French influences with its tree fringe boulevards, more than two dozen lakes and thousands of French colonial era buildings, Hanoi is a popular tourist destination. The tourist destinations in Hanoi are generally grouped into two main areas, the Old Quarter and the French Quarters. The Old Quarter is in the northern half of Hoan Kiem district with small street blocks and alleys, and a traditional Vietnamese atmosphere. Many streets in the Old Quarter have names signifying the goods hang the local merchants were or are specialized in. For example, hang back silver stores still have many stores specializing in trading silver and jewelries. Two areas are generally called the French Quarters, the governmental area in Ba Din district and the south of Hoan Kiem district. Both areas have distinctive French colonial-style villas and broad tree-lined avenues. The political center of Vietnam, Ba Dinh has a high concentration of Vietnamese government headquarters, including the Presidential Palace, the National Assembly and several ministries and embassies, most of which used administrative buildings of colonial French Indochina. The One Pillar Pagoda, the Lai Si Du Protectorate and the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum are also in Ba Din. South of Hoan Kiem's French Quarter has several French colonial landmarks, including the Hanoi Opera House, the Sofitel Legend Metropole Hanoi Hotel, the National Museum of Vietnamese History formerly the École Française d'Extreme Orient, and the St. Joseph's Cathedral. Most of the French colonial buildings in Hoan Kiem are now used as foreign embassies. Since 2014, Hanoi has consistently been voted in the world's top 10 destinations by TripAdvisor. It ranked 8th in 2014, 4th in 2015 and 8th in 2016. Hanoi is the most affordable international destination in TripAdvisor's annual TripIndex report. In 2017, Hanoi will welcome more than 5 million international tourists. Topic: Entertainment. A variety of options for entertainment in Hanoi can be found throughout the city. Modern and traditional theaters, cinemas, karaoke bars, dance clubs, bowling alleys, and an abundance of opportunities for shopping provide leisure activity for both locals and tourists. Hanoi has been named one of the top ten cities for shopping in Asia by water puppet tours. The number of art galleries exhibiting Vietnamese art has dramatically increased in recent years, now including galleries such as NHAT High. Of Hein Thong and HAT. Enna Tryon Lam at 29 Hang Bai Street hosts regular photo, sculpture, and paint exhibitions in conjuncture with local artists and traveling international expositions. 
A popular traditional form of entertainment is water puppetry, which is shown, for example, at the Thang Long Water Puppet Theatre. Shopping To adapt to Hanoi's rapid economic growth and high population density, many modern shopping centers and megamalls have been opened in Hanoi. Major malls are Trang Tien Plaza, high-end mall on Trang Tien Street right next to Hon Kim Lake, Hon Kim District, Vincom Center, a modern mall with high-end CGV Cineplex, Ba Tru Street just 2 km from Hone Kiem Lake, High Ba Trung District Parkson Department Store, Tay Sun Street, Dong Da District The Garden Shopping Center, Mi Tri, Mai Din, Nam Tu Liem District Indochina Plaza, Xuan Tui Street, Kai Jui District Vincom Royal City Megamall, the largest underground mall in Asia with 230,000 square meters of shops, restaurants, cineplex, water park, ice skating rink, Nguyen Tri Street approximately 6 kilometers from Hone Kiem Lake, Than Shuan District Vincom Times City Megamall, another megamall of 230,000 square meters including shops, restaurants, cineplex, huge musical fountain on Central Square and a giant aquarium, Min Kai Street approx 5 km from Hone Kiem Lake, Hai Ba Trung District Lotte Department Store, opened September 2014, Lu Giai Street, Ba Din District Eon Mall Long Bien opened last October 2015, Long Bien District. Topic: <coughs> Cuisine. Hanoi has rich culinary traditions. Many of Vietnam's most famous dishes, such as pho, cha California, ban kuon and com are believed to have originated in Hanoi. Perhaps most widely known is pho a simple rice noodle soup often eaten as breakfast at home or at street side cafes, but also served in restaurants as a meal. Two varieties dominate the Hanoi scene pho bo, containing beef and pho ga, containing chicken. Bun cha, a dish consisting of charcoal roasted pork served in a sweet, salty soup with rice noodle vermicelli and lettuce, is by far the most popular food item among locals. President Obama famously tried this dish at a Levan HUU eatery with Anthony Bourdain in 2016, prompting the opening of a bun cha restaurant bearing his name in the Old Quarter. Vietnam's national dish pho has been named as one of the top five street foods in the world by Global Post. Hanoi has a number of restaurants whose menus specifically offer dishes containing snake and various species of insects. Insect inspired menus can be found at a number of restaurants in Kong Thong Village, Hanoi. The signature dishes at these restaurants are those containing processed ant eggs, often in the culinary styles of Thai people or Vietnam's Muong and Tay ethnic people. Dog eating used to be popular in Hanoi in 1990s and early 2000s but is now dying out quickly due to strong objections. <laughs> Education Hanoi, as the capital of French Indochina, was home to the first Western-style universities in Indochina, including, Indochina Medical College 1902, now Hanoi Medical University, Indochina University 1904, now Hanoi National University the largest, and École Supérieure des Beaux-Arts de l'Indochine now Hanoi University of Fine Art. After the Communist Party of Vietnam took control of Hanoi in 1954, many new universities were built, among them, Hanoi University of Technology, still the largest technical university in Vietnam. Recently ULIS University of Languages and International Studies was rated as one of the top universities in Southeast Asia for languages and language studies at the undergraduate level. 
Other universities that are not part of Vietnam National University or Hanoi University include Hanoi School for Public Health and Hanoi School of Agriculture and University of Transport and Communications. Hanoi is the largest center of education in Vietnam. It is estimated that 62% of the scientists in the whole country are living and working in Hanoi. Admissions to undergraduate study are through entrance examinations, which are conducted annually and open to everyone who has successfully completed his, her secondary education in the country. The majority of universities in Hanoi are public, although in recent years a number of private universities have begun operation. Thang Long University, founded in 1988, by Vietnamese mathematics professors in Hanoi and France was the first private university in Vietnam. Because many of Vietnam's major universities are located in Hanoi, students from other provinces especially in the northern part of the country wishing to enter university often travel to Hanoi for the annual entrance examination. Such events usually take place in June and July, during which a large number of students and their families converge on the city for several weeks around the intense examination period. In recent years, these entrance exams have been centrally coordinated by the Ministry of Education, but entrance requirements are decided independently by each university. Although there are state-owned kindergartens, there are also many private ventures that serve both local and international needs. Pre-tertiary elementary and secondary schools in Hanoi are generally state-run, but there are also some independent schools. Education is equivalent to the K-12 system in the U.S., with elementary school between grades 1 and 5, middle school or junior high between grades 6 and 9, and high school from grades 10 to 12. Education levels are much higher within the city of Hanoi in comparison to the suburban areas outside the city. About 33.8% of the labor force in the city has completed secondary school in contrast to 19.4% in the suburbs. 21% of the labor force in the city has completed tertiary education in contrast to 4.1% in the suburbs. Reform Countrywide educational change is difficult in Vietnam, due to the restrictive control of the government on social and economic development strategies. According to Hanoi government publications, the national system of education was reformed in 1950, 1956 and 1970. It was not until 1975 when the two separate education systems of the former North and South Vietnam territories became unified under a single national system. In Hanoi in December 1996, the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Vietnam stated that, to carry out industrialization and modernization successfully, it is necessary to develop education and training strongly and to maximize human resources, the key factor of fast and sustained development. Transport. Hanoi is served by Noi Bai International Airport, located in the Sok Sun District, approximately 15 kilometers (9 miles) north of Hanoi. The new international terminal T2, designed and built by Japanese contractors, opened in January 2015 and is a big facelift for Noi Bai International Airport. In addition, a new highway and the new NHAT Tan Cable Stay Bridge connecting the airport and the city center opened at the same time, offering much more convenience than the old road via Thanglong Bridge. Taxis are plentiful and usually have meters, although it is also common to agree on the trip price before taking a taxi from the airport to the city center. Hanoi is also the origin or departure point for many Vietnam Railways train routes in the country. The Reunification Express runs from Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh City from Hanoi Station, formerly Hang Co Station with stops at cities and provinces along the line. Trains also depart Hanoi frequently for Hai Phong and other northern cities. 
The reunification express line was established during French colonial rule and was completed over a period of nearly 40 years, from 1899 to 1936. The reunification express between Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City covers a distance of 1,726 kilometres and takes approximately 33 hours. As of 2005, there were 278 stations on the Vietnamese railway network, of which 191 were located along the north-south line. The main means of transport within Hanoi City are motorbikes, buses, taxis, and a rising number of cars. In recent decades, motorbikes have overtaken bicycles as the main form of transportation. Cars however are probably the most notable change in the past five years as many Vietnamese people purchase the vehicles for the first time. The increased number of cars are the main cause gridlock as roads and infrastructure in the older parts of Hanoi were not designed to accommodate them. On 4 July 2017, the Hanoi government voted to ban motorbikes entirely by 2030, in order to reduce pollution, congestion, and encourage the expansion and use of public transport. There are two metro lines under construction in Hanoi now, as part of the master plan for the future Hanoi metro system. The first line is expected to be operational in 2018, and the second in 2021. Persons on their own or traveling in a pair who wish to make a fast trip around Hanoi to avoid traffic jams or to travel at an irregular time or by way of an irregular route often use XE OM, literally, hug bike. Motorbikes can also be rented from agents within the old quarter of Hanoi, although this falls inside a rather gray legal area. Topic: Sports. There are several gymnasiums and stadiums throughout the city of Hanoi. The biggest ones are Mai Din National Stadium, La Duke Tho Boulevard, Quan Ngua Sporting Palace, Van Cao Avenue, Hanoi Aquatic Sports Complex, and Mai Din Indoor Athletics Gymnasium. The others include Hanoi Stadium, also known as Hang Day Stadium. The third Asian indoor games were held in Hanoi in 2009. The others are Hai Ba Trung Gymnasium, Trin Hoai Duke Gymnasium, Van Bao Sports Complex. On November 6, 2018, it was announced that in 2020, Hanoi would become the host of the first FIA Formula One Vietnam Grand Prix on a street circuit on the outskirts of the city. topic health care and other facilities some medical facilities in hanoi bark mai hospital viet duc hospital st paul hospital 108 hospital hospital francais de hanoi international sos hanoi medical university hospital Than Nhan Hospital, Vinmec International Hospital, Viet Phap Hospital, Tu Cook General Hospital, K Hospital, Medlatec Hospital. Topic: International Relations. Hanoi is a member of the Asian Network of Major Cities 21 and the C40 Cities Climate Leadership Group. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Twin Towns and Sister Cities. Hanoi is twinned with Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Image Gallery. Topic. See also Gioi Market Dong Shuan Market Ho Chi Minh City North-South Railway Vietnam.
List of historical capitals of Vietnam